Hi, Nick Perdomo, president of Perdomo Cigars. Have you ever seen a guy in a store doing this? Well, that's one reason we put cello on cigars, but there are other reasons also. Cellophane is very hygienic. I know it's got to bother you when you're in a humidor and you see somebody take a cigar and pass it under his nose. I know it bothers me tremendously. Or if he has unclean fingers or hands, you just never know. It also protects against drops and breakage. How about somebody squeezing the cigars with their fingertips? The cellophane is also going to assist and help in having less cracks or no cracks on the cigars for that matter. Also, what I like about cellophane is great for travel and it resists tears and rips into the wrappers like I said earlier. I think it looks good, especially when you look at the yellow cellophane of the Perdomo Reserve Champagne. And if you agree, hit that like button. So we use real cellophane, which is cellulose, which is actually a wood byproduct. It's a breathable product. Some people use plastic or polypropylene. And the reason we like to use cellophane is because it actually breathes and it continues allowing the cigar to continue aging in its tubes, which is really important because it allows slight amounts of humidity to come into the cigar to continue the aging process, which we think is very important. It's also a great barrier for lacodermia or bugs. Even though we don't have that problem because we freeze the cigars, if you have a Perdomo cigar in a humidor together with other brands that might not freeze, it protects the cigars from having that lacodermia jump back into our cigars which is very important for us. Also, some of the polypropylene will lead to mold because it can't breathe. And what we like about cellophane, because of its breathing capacities, that cigar not only ages, but if you have too much humidity in your humidor, it'll protect it because the cigar will be able to breathe and hence it won't get mold. In your humidor, if you're only gonna have Perdomo cigars, I would recommend that you would take the majority out of the cellophane so they can breathe even better and age in your humidors. But, I would keep a small percentage in cellophane. Reason being, if you're gonna go on a trip or anything like that, you can always pull those cigars out and you can put them in your pocket or wherever you're gonna take them to and that cellophane will protect your cigars from any tears or being ripped or broken or so on. If you have other cigars mixed in your humidor from different manufacturers, I would recommend that you would keep our cigars in their cellophane. Even though we freeze all our tobacco and we've had literally no beetle problems in the last 20 years, we know that some manufacturers don't freeze. And because of that, if you have a Perdomo cigar in the humidor together with other manufacturer cigars, if there's any beetle infestation because of those cigars, those beetles could jump into your Perdomo cigars. So if you have, a, if you have the cigars in cello, it'll be a barrier protection that'll make sure the beetles won't, won't go into the actual cigars. A lot of people ask me about marrying of flavors in a humidor. For example, if I age my cigars a long time, if I have different types of Perdomo cigars or any cigars for that matter, could those blends and flavors marry? I'll be quite honest with you. In 30 years of being in the cigar industry and being a cigar smoker for over 40 years and having a lot of cigars filled in the humidors in my home, I've really never experienced that, but it could possibly happen. I recommend two things. I like to separate my cigars. So for example, I might have 20th anniversary sun growns in a division, maybe on the bottom drawer. I might have champagnes on the right side, on the top drawer. But if you really feel that that could happen, I would keep all my cigars in cellophane to protect the cigars from marrying into each other throughout the years. People ask me about metal tubes. If you notice the Perdomo Reserve Champagne Tubo, when you pull the cigar out, it actually has cellophane on the cigar and the reason being is it protects the cigar when you pull that cigar out of the out of the tubo because it's aluminum and also we want to keep that cellophane on because when we put it back in the tubo we want to make sure that it doesn't crack the wrapper on the particular cigar but if you're going to put that tubo cigar in a humidor I would of course recommend that you take the cigar completely out of the tubo and if you want to keep the actual aluminum tube because of its beauty you can always repack the cigar 
with its cellophane in the tube and put it back in your pocket if you're going to go out and play golf or whatever. Also, because it has cellophane and when you pull it out of the tube, it'll still breathe and still continue to age even when you pull it out of the tube. But the cellophane is used to really protect it from being damaged from even being pulled out of the tube or being put back in the tube. If you want to see how we put the cello on the cigars, check out the video of the Perdomo factory tour of the girls putting the individual cello on the cigars. Mm -hmm.